The drivers started their stoppage at 3 o'clock today and plan to not accept rides again until 3 o'clock on Sunday. I'm told there are about 100 drivers from both Lyft and Uber, and they're asking for better pay and more protection. I got in so many situations that I had nothing to do but just pray to God to save me and save my life. Syed asked we not use his last name out of fear. He drives for both Uber and Lyft, and he says he has dealt with aggressive passengers often and has even added a camera to his car for protection. He and the other rideshare drivers are asking Lyft and Uber to add more safety measures too and increase their pay. They tell me they make a third of each fare, and with that, they pay for their gas, maintain their vehicles, and find ways to stay safe. I spoke with a pizza shop owner who says he uses rideshare for his business, and although the stoppage could impact him, he says he stands behind the drivers. I don't want to work with them, but I don't, I don't have another other chance because they're cutting like 35%, and the profit on pizzeria is like 15%, so I'm losing money. The drivers I spoke with say they will be protesting here at Stanwix and Liberty tomorrow afternoon, and they will be on strike until 3 o'clock on Sunday. Downtown Pittsburgh, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. We reached out to both Uber and Lyft, and tonight Uber says drivers in the U.S. made $35 per utilized hour on average, and we are aware of fare and destination before accepting a, a trip. Lyft says drivers earn $35 per working hour, includes tips and bonuses. They say when it comes to safety, they take action, invest in technology, and in partnerships.